And I usually don't like, like, private investigator type stories. Those are usually not my jam. But I loved Rachel Craw in The Night Swim. And I didn't know it was going to be a series, but I'm not mad that it is. I don't know anything about this book other than I think that Rachel Craw, the true crime podcaster that was following the rape case, the rape trial from The Night Swim, I believe she is being contacted by the FBI to work with the FBI on a case. Then I have Gone Tonight by Sarah Pekinen. I have zero ideas what this is about. I just know that I've been wanting to read a Sarah Pekinen book and a Gare Hendricks book like separately because I know together what they write, what they're capable of, but I've never read separately. And so I kind of saw this on Book of the Month and thought, you know, I should really try it. We have this stack. I think most of my books are thrillers for the full time, but you know, cozy, comfy, scary vibes for the fall time. So we have Sign Here by Claudia Lux, which this follows this man named Payet. Payet? Payet. I think his name is Payet. Yes, Payet Tripp, who uh, works in the fourth floor of hell. And he's up for a promotion. All he has to do is get one more person from this really wealthy family to sign their soul over to him. And if he does that, then he will get a promotion to like the 14th floor of hell. I have started reading this and it's like a darkly comedic kind of horror novel, which isn't usually my jam, but I love the writing style so far. I'm literally like 20 pages in, 25 pages into this book, but I'm still counting it for fall because I have put it down and I don't think I'm going to get to it much before. I'm hoping October. I'm hoping I can finish this book in October. And then um, I have this gigantic beast that I would like to do a reading vlog. Just reading this by itself. Um, I think it would be really fun. I think my goal... I've gone back and forth as to, like, I want to read this book on 11 63 only, like, 11 23 And, because, you know, obviously I can't read it in 63 because it's 2023. Anyways, <laughs> um, I was hoping that I would read it then and then have a reading vlog come out after, but I think... I'm going to try and plan to read this at the end of October, beginning of November, and I'll have it come out on my channel where there's a reading vlog of me reading 11-22-63 on 11-22-23. I hope that makes sense. Um, but this is basically about the JFK assassination, and it's like an alternate history. So what if that didn't happen? And uh, there's like time travel and I'm very intrigued by this book. Okay, and then we have Runtime by Katherine Ryan Howard. Uh, <laughs> funny story, I've never liked a book by this author so I don't know why I keep trying to get books by her. Uh, this is also takes place on a movie set which is yet another thing that I don't like in books. So this screams that I'm going to hate it, but I'm thinking, hear me out. I'm thinking <laughs> when I read this in the fall that I can uh, read this and pick one or two other books that I'm thinking I'm not going to like. And we'll do like a hateful reading vlog or like a reading vlog of books I should hate. And then maybe I'll surprise 
both of us, and I'll actually end up loving it. Alright, I think this is the only romance that is on my pile, but I don't think it's actually... I, I don't know how romance heavy it is, but it's called A Romantic Comedy by Curtis Stinfeld. Uh, I just got it because it's like pink and cute and pretty. Uh, but I have started reading it, like 17 pages. Wow, I read like 20 pages of book, put it down. Uh, it's really good so far. It's like about this SNL writer, only they can't say SNL because copyright things. Uh, but basically this SNL writer is talking about work and what kind of skits they she's written. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's like an office place romance, but it's really early so I don't know for sure. I guess for this fall TBR, I'm just really in the mood to laugh and to feel good. I think it's because I've been feeling sick for a few days and I just want to feel better and happy. And <sighs> Who wants to feel sad? Nobody, right? So I'm just trying to predict good vibes only. And that's why a lot of my books in the fall time are like happy or funny or things like that, you know? Okay, anyway, let's finish this fall TBR. Okay, this whole book is not on my fall TBR. Although it could be. But it's not. It's not. We're, there are three books in this. This is City of Ghosts Trilogy by V.E. Schwab. This is a middle grade ghost hunter trilogy. What? Her name is Cassidy. I think her name is Ca Cassidy Blake. She can see ghosts. And I've heard it compared to like Ghostbusters. But I've never seen Ghostbusters. So I don't know. But it's like a middle grade ghost novel. And like, what better time to read a middle grade ghost novel than Halloween. You know, like fall vibes for sure. And if I like the first one, which is called City of Ghosts, then maybe I will read Tunnel of Bones, which is the second one, and Bridge of Souls, which is the third one. I love when I start a new series and then I end up loving it and I just like binge read the whole series. So we have the story of Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofting. First off, I didn't even know this was a book until I found it at Walmart for a dollar. And I bought all the classics I could. Actually, I sold out the children's classics because I got a bunch of them. And I even got extra copies of certain books and they're in my bookshelf at school. Uh, but I didn't know this was a book. And honestly, Dr. Doolittle is just, like, he embodies comfiness to me. Because when I was a kid and I watched Dr. Doolittle, I always saw how he talked to the animals. And that would be, like, a dream come true to be able to talk to animals. I mean, I talk to my animals all the time, but I mean, if they talked back to me, that would be a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the last book on my TBR is yet another one that I've started. I am 37 pages into this one, but again, I put it down because I hate the audiobook of it. It's a really long book. And it's not that I'm not invested in this, but it's not that I'm like so invested that I just need to pick it up and read it right away. And that book is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. So I did attempt to read this several years ago. I DNF'd it and unhauled it right away. But I did give it another shot when I had jury duty. 
And on the day of jury duty, you know, on the bus and in the waiting room, I read 37 pages. And I haven't picked it up since. But I want to. I do really want to finish it. It's a historical fiction, which is so not like me, that takes place during World War II. And I don't know what's going on yet. I'm not even going to lie to you. So you're following this guy that is following this little girl and her brother died on the train. And now she's an orphan. And she, her mom is taking her to this family that is supposed to take care of her. But I think the man that is following her is not really a man. I think he might be deaf. And I don't know if they've told me that he's deaf. Or if I'm just getting those ominous vibes from him. But I'm very intrigued to figure out, like, what's really going on in The Book Thief. Um, and, you know, they also said that this is a young adult novel. I do not get young adult vibes from this book yet. Maybe it'll happen. I mean, I'm only less than 40 pages in. I kind of hope it doesn't give me young adult vibes and that I end up really liking it, but I'm very confused by this book so far. And that's why it's on my fall TV. <clears throat> so normally right here I would grab all the books and show you, but I know that I'm going to cough more. <clears throat> so I'm not going to show you. But I think I have 11 books on my fall TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.